Hey guys, it's time for another BB23 video. All right, This well, is supposed to be the house tour video, which it is, but we also have an extra tidbit of information on the cast. Christy got cut. Oh no! She's got the Rona. And yeah. I don't see how, I mean, I can see how, but it's... She's been fully vaccinated. It's kind of scary because, yeah, she's been fully vaccinated, but she tested positive for COVID. She doesn't have any symptoms. So we wish, her, we wish her well. I'm really bummed out that she's I'm not really going to be I'm really bummed on. out, too, because I felt like she was going to be a really good house guest, really good for the women's side. Just a good person in general yeah. and um, an inspiration to anyone watching with alopecia. But... <laughs> The replacement? Yeah, they announced her uh her I'm ultimate. very excited for. Um, how was this how new girl not like made the cut? <laughs> what? Yeah, how was she not an initial house guest? Not this is yeah. not a slight to Christy because she is wonderful. Chris, I could see that it was probably all right, we have this demographic, we either need, you know, Christy or Claire, and they probably agonized. They're both wonderful. Over which one to pick. Yeah. Either one of these would have been phenomenal, uh, outrageous, over the top, uh, never before seen. Yeah. Well, before we talk about Claire, I just want to say, I hope we get to see Christy on a future yes, season. because That would be amazing. I want to see her play, for sure. Mm -hmm. But now let's talk about... Claire, the new house guest. Can I just say how filthy these glasses are? And I can't <laughs> get that spot off, and it's really bugging me. Uh-oh. All right. Well, anyway, Claire is 25. She's originally from Ohio, but now mm -hmm. she lives in NYC, baby. That's right. Just wait till I get you drunk in New York City, baby. She's an artificial intelligence engineer. Yes. AI, all the way. Um, Rise of the machines. The interview question? We didn't get to see Do any video of her. she's a robot? No. Um, I mean, from her interview, I can imagine tell. Imagine if she was a robot, like... No. The <laughs> Sorry, no. Her interview was amazing. It was and amazing. she is already one of my favorite top house guests going mm -hmm. into this season. Her interview was just everything. She's clever, driven, spunky. Mm-hmm. She reads books. <gasps> we have a reader! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Why does the light keep going out? I don't know, but I'm so happy to have a reader... And somebody who plays video games. She loves her Switch. That's what, who doesn't? Right? She does crossword puzzles. She does actual jigsaw puzzles. So yeah. We got a smart girl on her hands here. She's a super fan, mm -hmm. for real. She was uh, Talking up seasons up, three yeah. and four. I think she nice. said she started watching during season 17, but then I guess she went back. She and went back? She's a live feedster. Yeah. She's BB Twitter. Nice. She doesn't like the He-Man woman haters, and neither do we! Woo! She's talking about how she comes from a male-dominated field, so she is used to it. Um, she's not looking forward to talking about <laughs> protein and intermittent fasting. Yeah. And <laughs> Weights. Other people do that stuff, too. Just yeah, saying. But, but like, yeah. I know I get exactly what she, means. what she means. She doesn't like the He-Man woman haters, but she knows how to appease their fragile egos. I do believe she said she's planning on going after those alpha males early. Oh my god. This is like our dream casting. Mm -hmm. She liked Vanessa Russo's gameplay yep. on how she would have her back up against the wall and she could get out of any situation, unfortunately, except the final two. Yeah. But um, she also mentioned the magic words that we've been looking for. Girls Alliance. Oh my yes. God! Could this finally be the season? No. That we get a strong girls alliance. One girl does not make a strong girls but alliance. But listen, this is encouraging because she said in her interview that girls alliances usually fail because they don't have the right girls in them. Whenever you yes. you pull in a like pick me girl who's mm -hmm. always like I'm different than other girls when she's talking to guys. I do better with guys. That's a recipe for failure. Yeah. But she says she knows how to pick out who is going to be good for this group. She says she's going to find her fellow black widows. So I'm really excited about this. I think Claire's going to be awesome. I really hope so. Yeah. I really hope this she is She also was talking about how she's going to be causing, like, some chaos, chaos to try and, like, She's really smart, too. Up. So I bet she's thinking uh, she's playing the game backwards. I don't know. That would be cool. I know she's also a big Survivor fan, so I'm wondering if she's taking some in inspiration from Chaos Cast. Do we have Chaos Claire? We'll see. I wonder if she tried out for Survivor and <laughs> she might have on this show. She might have. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm 
maybe she was an alternate sur for Survivor, and they were like, you know what, we have an opening. Can you like? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe one day we'll find out. Maybe we'll but hear in the meantime, it on the stop talking about production before they cut the feeds. Cut the feeds. Yeah. In the meantime, let's talk about this BB Beach Club house. <laughs> I'm always so hopeful when uh, the house pictures come out and then I'm like... I'm always so excited. I know people are always crabbing about the house decor, like, no matter what, pretty much, on social media and everything, and I'm always like, I like it! <laughs> I can't think of a house that I was just like, I hate this. This is so dumb. Uh, I can. I'm very easy to please with the house decor. I can. The one that had the raw-ass plywood in the beehive room, that was not a great house. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got some changes to the lounge, uh, but we'll talk about that in a bit. one through uh, I'm ten. talking, like, more <laughs> modern. All right. But anyway, this house is giving me overall, like, crazy below-deck vibes. Yes. Which I'm but a fan like, of. not a luxury yacht, though. Like, one this of is the, the lesser yachts. Is this the yachty part of the boat where they're all yeah, sharing is, bunk beds and stuff? Yes, it is. No. I think it's, real, I think it's a lot of fun. Well... <sighs> Let's just get right into it. Let's so talk. Can, let's start let's in the living room. Let's tear this apart. All right. So the living room. You got to go with the couch format with the uh, evictees chair, you mm -hmm. know, the nominees chairs. That's pretty standard fare. I mean, we haven't seen too much deviation from that over the years. I really do like the coffee table. Yeah. I think it's fun. It looks like it's interactive. Like you could kind of put it together in different ways because it's got those notches on the cards and well, stuff. Well, they wanted to remind everyone this game is like a de like a house of cards. If you right. put one in the wrong spot, it's all going to fall. But it's also like a game. Yeah. You know, so the cards represent, you know, mm -hmm. it's all the luck of the draw. Yeah. Well, the living room is fun. It's got a lot of colors. It's got this like... It's got a lot going on. Mosaic wall of like... It's like a coffered wall almost <laughs> with all of the different moldings and everything. Yeah. The photos in different shades of blue, the oranges. It's so very beachy. If you had to choose a way to describe this house, if it's below deck original, mm -hmm. below deck med, mm -hmm. or below deck sailing yacht, which one would you say it is? I would say sailing yacht. Really? I would. Why? What would you say? Because it's, it's not super luxury to me. It's like the pared down, you know, because the sailing boat is much leaner. It's built for racing. Mm -hmm. The big yacht is like, we don't care how much gasoline we burn on these engines. So it's going to be big, baby. Okay. This one is kind of like built for speed and cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your reasoning? I guess I'll say, okay, it's not Captain Lee because Captain Lee's the best. So right. I'll say, I'm going to say it's Below Deck Med. Okay. We've got a lot of fun colors going on. I love the color scheme. Yeah. Um, it's a Captain Sandy, you know. She's... Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> um, but I'm also getting some Real Housewives vibes with Dorinda in the fish room. I like the fish hanging up. Um, I... Yeah. A fish I, sculpture in the living room. I'm glad it's a sculpture and not an actual taxidermy fish. Well, yeah, that would be really sad. That would sad. be very not nice. Yeah, so that's I the living room. I also don't know how I feel about all of the coral around because that once, too, was Is that living. real, though, or is that just I don't know. fake? Because I feel like it's Is fake. that in the budget? <laughs> There's a lot of beach glass uh, strewn about, too, in uh, the vases, you know, reminiscent of the beach glass colors, the mm. blues, the oranges, the clears. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised there's no sand on the floor anywhere. They've tried that before and... Um, Big fail. It was bad. Big fail. I still don't like the crusty, dusty flowers on that uh, flower box. I. <sighs> what are you going to do? Suffering from allergies, <laughs> I just, I look at that like a big sneeze. Yeah. It's dry in there, too, and cold, so. All right, well, let's move on to the <laughs> next room. Can I pick something nice to say? No. All right, before we get into the HOH room, I just want to say, too, they've been doing this thing the last few seasons where they spread out the house reveal over, like, a bunch of different news sources. They really make it difficult for us. 
So you have to like piece it all together, which is very annoying. <laughs> so if they can like stop that in the future, this that'd be took awesome. This probably twice as long as it should have for us yeah. to put this together. And we also haven't seen the official Julie tour yet. I'm assuming that's going to be happening. Julie said, excuse me. I'm still on vacation. No, time. I know she shot it. It's a federal holiday. I know today. they shot We're it. Not putting it up. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on entertainment tonight. All right. Tonight. <laughs> okay. Well, that doesn't do us any good. No. But anyway, let's talk about the HOH room. This is All supposed right. to be like luxury. luxury what elegance. was the name they gave for this? VIP Cabana? Yes. This is the VIP Cabana. All right. It's a retro. VIP, I use the term extremely loosely. Okay. Cabana. When I think of cabana, I think of toilet. And that's exactly what I thought of when I saw the ceiling in this room. Oh, no! Yeah, we do have to talk about that real quick. Okay. This is like, you went to the bar on the beach, and you were afraid there were cameras in the ceiling, and there was all kinds of diarrhea drippage in the ceiling Ew. panels. And this is horrendous. Who put this on the internet? I'm hoping this is going to be fixed before the show starts. Yeah, I don't know if the house was just still in progress when they took that picture or what. It's rough. <laughs> <coughs> see, she's sneezing already from Sorry. that dusty house. Um, okay, when I see the ceiling, I just think of somebody, they're all excited that they want HOH, now they have this huge decision, like, who am I going to go after? And they're, like, lying on the bed and, like, looking up the ceiling, like, what am I going to do? And then they open their eyes and they're like, ah! Reminds me of Schitt's Creek when they moved in and something was dripping on them from the ceiling. Like it was poop. Ew. Anyway, ceiling aside, the rest of the room is a lot of fun. Um, the bed is on this platform, which has like a swimming pool. Moat? Yeah, it's supposed to feel like you're like poolside. Do you think, now we have an in-ground pool and we refer to the uh, light playing in the water as giraffes uh -huh. because it looks like a giraffe's coat but obviously blue um do you think the giraffes will be moving you no. think that's that'd really? be sick but i don't know if the giraffes know. are moving on the moat i would give this a 10 out of 10 an a minus <laughs> okay if they don't i would give it a b plus i don't think they're gonna be moving but there is a nice uh neon light framing the bed the headboard. Yes. Which it, I hope they will turn off at night. H-O-H, roughly. <laughs> yes. If you use your imagination. Okay, now if we turn around the other way in the H-O-H room, you got your couch, you got two chairs, little conversation area. Actually, there's four chairs in there. But um, the conversation it, area with the couch... Looks uncomfortable. Those asses <laughs> are gonna be hurting. <laughs> they put outside teak chairs with no cushions on the buttocks. <laughs> There's one for the back, thankfully, but they're gonna be piling up their towels on those. Uh, I hope so, cause that those chairs, because yeah. <sighs> no. All right. Well, that no. retro blue fridge, love. Love the little tiny fridge. Mm -hmm. um, I love all the colors on the walls. I, I dig it. That's fun. It it looks like a vacation motel, not a hotel, a motel. I've never seen a motel that looks like that. I don't know where you're I staying. I have. Upstate. Okay. I've seen it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I It's a lot all at once, but I like that because people are going to get bored in there. They're going to need things to look at. Even the live feed <laughs> viewers. I love just like, <laughs> I love just finding random things that I haven't noticed before. Yeah. I'm just thinking that's totally unfinished because just look at those beams. They just end like oh, that's going to, it has to be right. They had to put like some. I have no idea translucent ceiling on there maybe or something make it like a light box i don't know well but let's talk about rough. the hoh bathroom i can get behind the bathroom in the hoh <laughs> i love the sensibilities of the driftwood on the you know on the sink vanity i like that sink around the tub I like the uh, the wallpaper with the beige and blue mm -hmm. and white tones. It's very calming, very soothing. The vanity lights are fun, too. It's something a little yeah. different. It's like shells are lit up, almost. Mm. You know, like your Little Mermaid getting ready for the show at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. And then I don't know what those doors lead to in the back, if that's the shower or the toilet, but I'm really hoping I'm it's the shower. I'm hoping it's the shower, because if they took away a solid door and they put uh, those saloon doors to go to the toilet... I'd be literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You gotta have a full door on the toilet. Yeah. 
I, is that a laundry basket or is that to actually throw things out, that little basket on the floor? I have no idea. I'm hoping it's a laundry basket. They get laundry service, don't they? The, yeah, they but they usually have like a canvas bag, I feel like. Oh, okay. I think that's just well, maybe like they for made, other stuff. I don't know. Maybe they made it like that this time. They said, oh, let's go to Home Goods and, Who knows? and get a fabric la- uh, laundry basket. It'll be fun. <laughs> okay. All right, let's talk about the bedrooms. All right. They all have their own little names. Yes, the first one is the sea glass bedroom. This is like the first bedroom. This would be my choice. That you walk into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's fun. It's blue. It's like a turquoise. It's orange. Uh There's a little green in there. You got that whole built-in fixture that has the beds on it. Like a little uh, wave, almost like a, um, what are they, like a dune yeah. Almost. I love the color gradations on this like built in thing with the different blues. You know, Big Brother likes those uh, platform beds in at least one of the bedrooms, and they mm-hmm. like those custom mattresses that are probably a real bitch to get the sheets on. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Because you can't use a fitted sheet. You got to uh, put those, you got to tuck it in all the time. It's a pain in the butt. But it looks great. Yeah, I it looks love cool. that room. Uh, the door to exit from that room has a little porthole in it. So <laughs> That's fun. It's That's so cute. nautical, daughter. Oh, so yeah, nautical. like all these bedrooms have that nautical vibe. Yeah. Uh, lots of storage, lots of armoires. Yeah, they have two big armoires in here and then a set of drawers as well. Plenty of places to put your Ziploc bag of underwear. And- <laughs> I just remember in BB-19, Kevin hanging up all of his suits, like, mm-hmm. in a separate room, and it yes. was a lot of fun. He had his own room for the suit. He had his own bed to put all the suits on. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's the first bedroom. Right. I will Long say, choice. I feel like that one is kind of annoying to sleep in just because people are always going to be going through there to get to the mm-hmm. other rooms, too. Plus, I think it stays, like, kind of light in there just because also, it's open to, the, like, the other rooms. The ceiling in this one, not done. Ugh. I think they might all just be like that. I think that's just the ceiling. No, I mean they're I'm in like a warehouse. They're they're, in a, they're on a soundstage. Working till the last minute. They're on the soundstage. I know, but um, no. All right. <laughs> uh, the side bedroom. This one is like off to the right. All right, guys. You know this is the reef room. Every year they give us three bedrooms in the house reveal. And one ends up being the uh, have-not room. room. And I feel like this is the one that they're telling us is the have-not room, the Mm -hmm. reef room. It's got four uh, beds, ass to ass to ass to ass. And uh, (laughs) it's very, very impractical. Yeah, the the flow of this is terrible. Yeah, very sparsely decorated. It's it's the joke room. I feel like this is the one that's going to be... Turned into the have-not room. The have-not room. I I would say if it was one of the three, I would pick this one to turn Mm -hmm. into the have-not room. It does have a cool, like, humongous coral uh, sculpture Mm -hmm. in between the four beds. But just, like, the design of this with the four beds, like, all facing each other is not working no for me. and it also has a very cool sculpture hanging from the ceiling that is like an oil slick almost or maybe it's like a Yikes. coral reef or something <laughs> no like i that. think it's supposed to feel like you're underwater which i would not right. want to feel when i'm sleeping no but uh yeah so i like the walls for i sure. really think uh if they don't do the have not room with hammocks the have not room might be upstairs remember they did that a few times now yeah could be upstairs. If they don't do a hammock situation, they're really missing an opportunity. Also, uh, Big Brother Canada this year did not have a have not. They had the ball pit, but you didn't didn't have have to sleep sleep in in it. I think they were supposed to originally, and then. Well, maybe it's going to be the same situation because of the Rona that uh, they're not going to have a a have not room that you have to sleep in. They might keep this room. I think the have not room could be upstairs. All right. Like it was last time. Okay. But anywho, let's talk about the back bedroom. All right, that is the Yacht Club. Ooh, below deck. This one is a definite definite keeper because it's got the sofa in it. It has the typical three beds in a row that they usually have. But it's also got this, like, built-in boat Ship's mast prow. thing or yeah. whatever it is. It's prow. Okay, you know. You know yeah. boats. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, it's got plenty of storage. It's got the little foot lockers at the edge of each bed. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, you know, they don't separate the men and the women. 
like they do in Big Brother Canada. Actually, they don't do that anymore. They used to have the girls' bedroom and the no, boys' bedroom. No, you can sleep wherever you want. Yeah, but I mean in the past. Remember, they used to have like a blue and a pink or, mm-hmm. you know. But this one, uh, it seems like the more masculine of the bedrooms. I don't know. I, I feel, feel like, like I don't does... think any of them are like one. I don't think they're like gendered. No, not gendered, but it feels more of like the stuffy money bedroom. You know I mean, it I mean? is the yacht club, so. Right. <laughs> I guess maybe that's what I mean. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It does look like a fun room, though. It, it looks like um, expensive. Yeah, it's definitely like the classiest of the three, I would right. say. All right, now we're going to talk about the exciting... The spa. Spa. Okay, so this is a little bit different this year. They're changing Mm -hmm. things up. So once you go past the kitchen, which we're going to talk about in a bit, um, normally you'd have that long hallway that has the lounge off to the right, and then if you keep going down the hallway, you have the bathroom. Mm -hmm. They've changed it up a little bit this year. There's actually going to be a door... Closing off Closing off that hallway. Yeah, that wing of the house. So... It's going to make spying a little bit more difficult there. Uh, Cliff wouldn't be able to do his shows in there anymore and have people outside the door like... (laughs) (laughs) Um, So yeah, that's closed off now, and the former lounge Mm -hmm. is now a gym. Right. So now they can still work out even if they're on indoor lockdown. That is smart. They have the laundry inside too. That energy. Because that would help. <laughs> yeah, isn't the isn't the laundry in the? I didn't see it in the bathroom. No, but that's usually you're thinking a BB can. Um, it would be nice if it was in the bathroom. Maybe they're just gonna have to wear their same dirty underwears again. Oh, wash <laughs> it out in the sink. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, the gym. I mean, it's got the the stationary bikes. You got a weight bench. You got um this thing. Um, that's like a Bowflex type situation, okay. I, I guess, or like the mirror without the mirror. Mirror. Yeah, it's like a digital um, piece of equipment okay. for the weights. I see lots of yoga mats. You got the ball. So it's a nice little gym. Lots of foam on the walls so that uh, yeah. that it really deadens the sound in there. So of it's the... not too echoey. Uh! No, for the cameras so oh. that it's not too echoey. <laughs> okay, That's well. Why. I Not think, because of them. Yeah. I think it's a good move that they have a gym inside because yeah. I think that's going to help a lot of people's mental health. And when they're locked in there. And it's better because it's right next to the bathroom. So Plus you're cute. inside because I feel like a lot of times they'll be working it's out raining. and it's like super hot out. Right. And they're just baking in the sun. Right. So you're right next to the new bathroom, right. which I really, I have to say that the bathrooms this year I'm a fan of. I'm not always a fan of the bathrooms, mm-hmm. but I do like this bathroom. Yeah. Well, they got rid of the couch in the bathroom and instead they have a few, um, Chez lounges. <laughs> yes. I call them fainting couches. There you go. I really like those in there. It's nice. You can kind of move them around a little bit if you want to. Mm-hmm. They kept the three sinks because yep. I don't know how they got by with one sink in the past. That, that was, was kind of ridiculous. But they also have this, like, I want to call it like a beauty bar kind of mm-hmm. thing going on where people can sit and, like, do their makeup. Like a dry bar. Yeah, yeah, it looks like nice. It. With the makeup mirrors. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got your, the showers your two shower are still stalls. There. You got the bathroom. The poop door is there. Uh, I just kind of wish that the laundry set was in there. Yeah, that would Baby, be nice. Baby, I got your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> that commercial is probably going to be back for that everybody. Us up. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's the bathroom. I love it. Okay. And uh, if we go sky upstairs, bridge, okay. yeah, we got the sky bridge, which brings in the casino theme again. It's funny that this is the sky bridge because this feels like it's in the hold of the ship. Yeah. The brig, you know, where they put you when you get in trouble, like boat jail. Or they're like having their poker game or something. Because yeah. this room has this like chip table. Yeah. And it's got the chess set. It's nautical with the, uh, is that the supposed anchors. to be the fish? Where's the fish tank? I haven't seen any fish they tank. They didn't have one last season either, I don't think. Oh, good. Finally, they've stopped torturing fish for the good of the show. Sounds good to me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, it's This looks like a nice little hangout spot. Yeah. It looks like there's some sort of like a loungy thing in the back of that room because they have like the chairs yeah. in around the table here but then they also have that loungy they spot got the, the chess board nothing special yeah. that i could see i think it looks pretty good though it also reminds me of a whale's belly 
Mm. With the ribs. Yeah, because of the... The ribs. Yeah, I see what yeah, you're saying. On the walls, going up uh, on the ceiling, too. So, uh, but it also reminds me of a roulette table, because in that back sofa pocket thing there, it has the red and the black mm -hmm. all the way around the, um, you know. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Well, they do have a roulette table in the kitchen. Yes, which they do. We're going to talk about now. Mm -hmm. We saved the best for last. Yes. Sorry, what were you going to say? <laughs> no, I was just, I was just <laughs> whatever. Let's talk about the kitchen and dining area. Well, it's, first of all, it's the shark kitchen because <gasps> there is a uh, big, like, plywood uh, 3D shark sculpture, which I is really cool. I love it. I love the minimal um, upper... You know, the, like, above the cabinet. The kitchen part itself feels very short because they have this huge, right. um, what would mural? you call that? Yeah, like a mural with all these sharks on it. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that because it kind of makes you think of like how massive mm -hmm. all of the oceans are in the world. Right. And we're just like this little tiny part of, of the world, which is cool. Um, but yeah, they have all these sharks painted on the walls. Right. It's I, neat. I do like that a lot. I like the minimal... Uh, minimalistic style of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It uh, it doesn't have like those shelves to keep all the, everything is hidden. Yeah, pretty much, which I really like, and I love the uh, giant L shaped uh, eating counter. Yeah, yeah, that is really nice because sometimes you just don't want to sit at the table. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to be at the sushi bar and see what the show is going on in sure. the kitchen. It also looks like they actually finally have gotten a bigger sink. I'm not I can't really completely tell from this sure photo. though. But I always thought, why is the damn sink so small? There's 16 people in there. That sink would be small for four people that yeah. they've had in the past. Um, I I just really like it. It uh, it's clean. It's simple. Mm -hmm. It's tones of gray and beige. And is it Big Brother Beach Club? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, the dining area, that's where they have the roulette table. That's on the dining room table. Right. Um, they've got some mismatched chairs, which are fun. I would almost bet my house that either... That they, makes me very nervous. They had uh, the designers for this. They could either couldn't agree on which chair style to get or they couldn't get 16 chairs. So they were like, you know what? I feel what? like they would Let's be able to get half 16. Half. No. Okay. No, don't be surprised. Okay. Don't be surprised. So, um, it also has a bubble wall on the fun. side, which is very fun. Looks like there's some jellyfish up there, too. Yeah. Jellyfish wallpaper on the soffit. Mm -hmm. and I really um, like these floors. The herringbone floors are really nice. I feel like they've had those before, though. It's possible. Yeah. And I just, I love the oranges. I'm a, yeah. I'm a fan of that, like, burnt orange color, mm -hmm. which is also very 70s. Yeah. You know? So, um, well, I love, I like it. The The dishes are pretty nice. They also have mismatched dishes. Mm-hmm. But that's the house. We didn't get to see, like, the backyard or the have-not no. room or any of that. But I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. Apparently, there's also... Some sort of like a neon sign that says no risk, no reward. So hopefully right. that will remind the house guests to actually like... Play um, the game? Yeah, maybe play. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not too early, Helen. Yeah. So <laughs> let us know what you guys think of the house decor. I can't wait for the season to start on Wednesday. Let us know what your favorite room is. Yeah. Mine's the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Of course. I can't pick. I don't know. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, hang in there. It's only one more day. Mm -hmm. And until then, much, much love. love.